What's good YouTube? It's Kevin here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It is the 22nd episode of the consecutive series and man oh man This finale is going to be pretty epic Um, so there are a lot of things that I have to say and go over in this finale But I did want to tell you guys the format of this video is going to be exactly the same as the very first video I'm going to sit in front of you guys or well, I guess sit in front of the camera which is you guys on YouTube and just tell you guys a lot of cool stuff. Um, so needless to say, thank you guys again for 1000 subscribers. Like the number just has yet to hit me. Like I'm still flabbergasted about it. All the congratulatory messages on Instagram and the comment section, like just blows my mind. Thank you so much for your continued support. And I'm internally grateful. Um, internally? Eternally? Eternally. I think that's the way to say it. I'm, I'm bad at English. I'm, I'm an engineer. Um, anyways, so we're gonna kick off the video talking about, like, the general series and a, a finale. And then, if you stick to the end, there's actually gonna be a lot of surprises to come. But anyways, um, we're gonna talk the finale. Um, going back to the reason why I filmed the 22 consecutive episodes, um, it was one, both a giving back to you guys who continually support me. So, um, those of you who like enjoying my content, um, giving you guys like a different perspective, like a different angle towards who I am, what my life is like, etc, etc, while also trying to provide you value in the series, like whether it be, you know, encouragement in learning new instruments or um, my skincare routine, workout, you know, there are a lot of different things. But um, I hope that you guys gained something from the series and that was definitely one of my biggest goals when I was just like, I'm gonna film for 22 days straight. But the hidden kind of reason that I wanted to reveal for the finale as to why I filmed it is kind of a 360 perspective of myself. and. I think it's super important to look at yourself in a 360 view, kind of a third person view, so that you can catch yourself and look at things that you like about yourself and also that you dislike about yourself. Or it's not really even just a personal thing, it's like lifestyle things, you know? Like what do you view in your lifestyle and like what do you enjoy, what do you not enjoy? And so as a part of this finale, I really wanted to highlight to you guys um, just kind of some of the observations I made about myself and um, I'd encourage you guys to do the same like viewing yourself in a 360 panel and just kind of observing the things that you like observing the things that you dislike really really will help you grow and become a better person in the long run so these are my top three observations number one knowing my limits and this is definitely something that I wanted to bring up in the finale because when I rewatched literally every single episode, yes, I watched every single episode, like today, <laughs> oh my god, I realized that, like, especially the episode where I collapsed, or not collapsed, but just completely forgot about, like, filming, and it just flew over my mind. Like, that was a retake for me as to, like, wow. I really reached my limits there. And like knowing my limits, kind of getting a good gauge as to where I am if I'm close to my limits is something that I really understood well in the grand scheme of things. Like understanding those in my lifestyle, understanding those in, you know, like my workplace, work life balance, and everything like that. And so that's something that I really wanted to highlight for both like, I guess, my own keepsake because I will watch this again probably next year and maybe do it again next year when I turn 23. <laughs> but um, that's something that really stood out to me, like seeing myself struggle like that. And um, I mean, obviously, if you don't struggle, you can't grow. But that's something I wanted to bring up for you guys so that if you can find your limits, you guys can definitely learn how to push without reaching them and maybe raise the ceiling for your limits. Um, effectively, how you get stronger at the gym too. You just keep lifting weights that are close to your max and then you just keep going up. But anyways, at some point it's genetics, but we're not gonna get into that. <laughs> Observation number two. I live a very interesting life. And the life that I live consists of a nine to five. And 
what that means to me is kind of a double-edged sword. Like, living a nine-to-five job life is as good as it will sound. <laughs> As a millennial, as kind of someone who's in their early 20s growing into the 9 to 5, I think that it's really... Oh, I mean, I wouldn't say it's suffocating or restricting, I'd say it's more or less just like, it's a wake-up call. This is how, like, your parents or people who are a little older than you kind of live, you know? Like, they, they just do the routine, they do it over and over again, and then, like, you know, that's their thing, you know, they get into the groove, financially stable, have some kids, support their kids, you know, like, that, that's what it is to some people. And, um, I don't know if it's just me or if it's a kind of comment that's, like, related towards my generation, but the 9 to 5 life is almost suffocating your dreams to some degree because, it sucks like a lot of the aspirations that you might have in you out of you because it's just the same grind and like even just like with 22 days of viewing this I can see this through the content that I produce like um, you know obviously at the very beginning I had a night routine I had you know like what like bulking what I eat in a day, um, I had workouts and everything, but like nearing the end, especially like these last few episodes, I realized that like the 9 to 5 grind is really like almost suffocating aspiration and creativity and I'm not sure why it is. Um, I'm sure this isn't like a generic statement, like people who work at like really really spunky startups or like just things where um, people enjoy the value of the work they do. I mean, granted, I do enjoy the value of the work I bring, but like, it's just like, the methodical grind of it is what makes it a little suffocating for me. Like, the fact that, oh, every morning I wake up at 9 and do this until 5, and then I leave, and every day I can only see this amount of sunlight, that's what suffocates me. It's not necessarily that I'm not doing meaningful work, it's not necessarily that I'm like, you know, not being creative at work, it's just that the methodicalness of it being a routine really reorients my brain and flips it to another side. And I mean, obviously this is something I'm going to try and improve on for myself, just like how to combat that 9 to 5 mentality and bring like a degree of change before it changes me. <laughs> um, anyways. That's just an observation. I, I don't know how I want to like wrap up that like spiel in a nice little condensed form um, because it's super hard to like I'm even struggling like as I'm saying this right now to you guys what I really want to go with that statement. It's just an observation. It's something I see but I don't know what to do about. But um, and finally observation number three, eat food. Just eat good food. Since I got off my cut eating like I'm on a bulk has just been so enjoyable and that's something that like really made me smile whenever I was like watching any of the film any of the footage that I really um, was eating fooding or cooking I, I just I just loved eating without like weighing things or like having these like strict dietary boundaries like part of the reason why I'm deciding to bulk into the summer is to get rid of this body image obsession that I had during my cuts. Because during cutting, like, you're always obsessed over seeing this body image of yourself. And I realized, like, how to some degree it was unhealthy to obsess over that body image. Um, I wanted to take the step back and just bulk, get stronger um, in the summer, into the winter, etc., etc. And really just let myself eat. You know, let myself enjoy food. Cause next year, I mean, maybe not even next year, maybe like early in the, or well, I guess in the later half of this year, I might just start a cut again and I'll just come back so much stronger. I mean, granted like controlling portions and everything is always hard, but observation three, eat well, make sure you feed yourself, take good care of yourself. Don't starve yourself. Um, for those of you viewing who do partake in dieting, diet with a certain box and let yourself eat. Let yourself be human and just eat things, you know? I, I, I can't really say anything else because I don't want to like 
be all commando and tell you guys how to live your lives, but that's honestly what I truly recommend. But um, those are the three observations that stood out to me the most when I was rewatching the series, and um, I hope you guys have something to gain from it because, like I said, this finale is recapping what I gained from my series as well. And so, um, with that out of the way, let's go into the exciting stuff. So, um, this weekend's review will be, of course, the Lundmark 350s. And starting the week after, we are going to have, I think, three, maybe four reviews. Um, yes, reviews. So every Sunday when I review a new item, there will be three or four that are going to be part of this like bracket of different review styles. And, um... Hold on, hold on. This is this is the crazy part, okay? They're all gonna have a special aspect to them. And so they'll retain the review part, which is the details and sizing, but there's gonna be an additional portion to them that you guys might not really like expect in a review, I suppose. It's definitely a different take on reviews. So they're gonna be very interesting. I hope you guys really, really enjoy them and yeah, honestly speaking, um, I'm excited to show you guys what's kind of in the works, um, upcoming. But anyways, stay excited, they will come very soon, it's gonna be the thousand subscriber celebration and you guys will love it. And, um, moving forward to the Explore Taiwan series, I'm actually going to postpone the series for like four days, it's gonna start next Monday. Um, as for the time of release, I'm not 100% certain. I think I might retain the 9 a.m. release schedule. Um, obviously when I start releasing them at a certain time, that's when they will release, and they will release for five days straight, or six days? Intro... I think it's... Five or six days. I forgot how many episodes <laughs> there were actually planned, but, um, it's gonna start with the Food All-Stars, and then go into the Explore Taiwan series. And so... The exciting part that I really wanted to share with you guys at the very end of this video is kind of like footage teaser or like trailer teaser of what's going to be in the Taiwan series. And so, yes, I do know that it's kind of a bummer that it's not going to pick up consecutively after this series, but to me, like, every end is in a sense a new beginning, and so... I'm just going to show you guys the preview for some of the Taiwan clips to come, and I hope you guys enjoyed this series. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below, and um, yes, thank you very much for all of the comments on the previous video. A majority of them were congratulating over a thousand subscribers, and um, that's why I didn't want to directly engage them, because I, I'd like, I'm like still boiling over excitement, but Honestly, I can't say enough how grateful I am for you guys, and, um, yeah, oh my gosh. Thank you for the support. We're gonna cue the clips now. Look forward to it, and peace out. Yeah.